When did all this decanting occur, Andrea? And did the arts work that you'd commissioned have the right effect? I, I think there was a, a move from the early 70s to be more humane with people with learning disabilities and that the ideal would be that they would take their place in the community and it was at that time that whereas children had been admitted into hospitals as ineducable, they came under the Education Act and had to have an education. And from that time, the idea was that people shouldn't move into hospitals just because they had learning disabilities. And so the local authorities were setting up group homes and day centres from then until I, th I think the early 80s we really started trying to close the hospitals and the different boroughs and counties that were taking people back all had their own arrangements and because Lewisham was so behind in getting anything going by the time they were getting things going in the late 80s having been forced to take these people back to Lewisham um, the politics of the situation and the theory and policy was that people should be in ordinary houses with ordinary lives and so we only had from the health service ordinary houses with 24 hour staff if need be and family type groupings of four to five people. It was always hoped and assumed that people would get jobs and go to work and lead what was then called ordinary lives and it was a whole movement of quite passionate people to see these services become much more like ordinary ones around the corner from where their families lived. Or, um, but it, because of attrition not happening so much, it became quite a closed system and there wasn't the movement in and out. They had thought that people coming from the hospitals would die at the same sort of age they would have done in hospital, but they were living decades longer and not making spaces for other people in the community to come into their homes, which meant that there wasn't the kind of interest from the locality of the people who lived there. And what I would like to see was not the health service pushing people into the community, but the community engaging them in their different ways and the um, community arts was going to be part of that, just a part of it. It's the part that flourished most from these small beginnings because of uh, David's enthusiasm and networks and fundraising ability. What happened was we set up the drama club for anyone who was interested to come, quite often with support workers to help them. And enthusiastic support workers were a great part of it in the beginning. Some of them enjoyed the dance and the drama and taking part in videos and performances and as a professional who was mostly concerned with the problems that people with learning disabilities pose society and the health service, I would go to a performance and people who'd been a problem, referred to me as a problem, would be performing to an audience and it was illuminating for me and a source of great pride to them that they were doing something that they'd had absolutely no opportunity to do before. It was great to realise one's potential in that way and express oneself and this attracted more notice. We were initially moving from just taking a hall that we could rent for the drama society into first of all a day centre where they had the space for and for what is now in Teleki. Then was probably changed its name to New Moves at some point. 
and operated from the day centre, including some of the people who attended the day centre. And so they had family and friends and it all became a lot more part of the community, which is what I'd had in mind 